So, you're Mr. Call of Duty, huh? Um, somewhat. Used to be. Used to be? Used to be. How'd that start? Well, um, I got into the gaming industry a while ago. Ended up making a game at some point for Electronic Arts called Medal of Honor. Oh, sure. That was, uh, you know, DreamWorks Interactive, EA with Spielberg. Um, went from there to making a game that was kind of competitive with it for Activision. And that was uh, where Call of Duty was born. When did you know you wanted to do video games? It's a good question. I mean, I think, you know, kind, kind of... of were, you, were you a child video gamer? I was. I've always been into gaming, you know, board gaming, card gaming, you know, pen and paper, like Dungeons and Dragons, video gaming when it became popular. So I, I don't think I ever really planned, like, this is going to be my career, because it wasn't a real choice back then, necessarily. I mean, I guess if you thought about it, I, you, we don't understand people made them, but there wasn't programs like there are today. Mm -hmm. So... Um, the opportunity came. I was in, always into computers. The opportunity came up one time for me to work at a game studio, and I'm like, "What stuff I do for free at home anyway? You want to pay me to do it?" Did you have a job before that? I did. I was doing uh, handyman work. I was doing computer like typesetting, like for greeting cards and invitations and stuff. So, nothing, nothing special. How many of you were involved in the original Call of Duty? It wasn't many. We, you know, that's when teams were small still. We were 24 wow. people, I think. So it was a nice, tight-knit team where you know everybody and everyone just kind of wears a lot of hats. And what did you do mostly on it? Um, I'm a producer, I guess, mostly. So I kind of did whatever it takes. Whip those boys into shape? Sometimes, yeah. And what was, the, uh, what was the idea? I mean, I guess now that we've seen it, we know. And I guess it's pretty clear. But just to do um, as close to real warfare as possible? Yeah, it was about, you know, you not being the lone soldier. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, war is, you know, one, a horrendous place where you want to see that there's, you know, things going on around you, that the world is affected. So it was about taking this, this character and putting him in a place where you realize, like, you look off in the distance, there's fighting going on, and you, you realize you're just part of a bigger kind of, bigger thing that's happening in the world. Anybody on the original Call of Duty team have military experience? We actually used advisors. We did military advisors. We talked to a lot of soldiers. It's about capturing an attitude, like, you know, what's it like to be in the military? And you can, you know, you read the manuals and you see like, hey, this piece of gear, is here's what it's officially for. But to get with some of the guys who will look at you and say, no, we would never use it that way. What we do is we strip off the top piece and we strap it to our helmet. And, you know, so just kind of capturing that, that real essence of, of what a soldier would be like in the field is, is kind of what it gives you. And what metric of uh, the success of Call of Duty interests you the most? What's the one you like to leave? You with? know, one of the best stories for me was, and this was, you know, the original Call of Duty's were set in World War II. Yeah. Obviously, we went modern with it, but um, we got a fan letter one time from someone who said, you know, playing Call of Duty really made me connect with my grandfather because he was in the war. So that's something that's, you know, you can't, like, I don't know how you measure that one. It's not a, you know, sell this many units or this many people playing it, but it's, you know, forging a real connection, causing human emotion, causing someone to see the world differently. Like, that to me is just, you know, Really nice. You know, people working on Jaws, they didn't really know that Jaws was going to be a huge movie. Did you have a feeling on Call of Duty? Yeah, I put my heart into what I'm doing. Oh, sure, you always hope. So you hope. I mean, I don't think you ever really know until until it kind of things start to get public. And once you start, you know, you release like a demo or a video, where you start to talk about it, and you see the reaction. And, and when the fans get behind you, that kind of rallies you and makes you, you know, like really hope, like, okay, this is this can be something special. I want people to really embrace this. And how do you do the plural at the end of uh, the call and the end of duty? How many calls of duty have there been or how many call of duties have there been? Oh, I don't even know at this point. The ones that I worked on were the original, mm -hmm. Call of Duty 2, and then we did Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. I did a game called Titanfall. Oh, yeah, sure. That was, you know, out with the launch of the Xbox One. Mm -hmm. We're doing a sequel to that right now. And how, and how much uh, was Titanfall your thing? Yeah. Is it's a new studio that we formed after leaving Activision called Respawn Entertainment. The success has been fantastic for a, a brand new IP that no one's seen before on a launch console. You know, we're 10 million unique players now, and uh, it's, it's been fantastic. The response is great. You know, it's, for us, it's a launching point. You know, there's, you put out a game when you have limited time and resources, you kind of always know there's so much more I think I could do. So, you know, we're real excited to get the next one out just to kind of take it to the next level, but it's, the success has been phenomenal. Do you feel it's competitive or do you feel like you're working with the people that are putting out the other games? 
I think it's it's very competitive. I mean, I think the games, the players are very competitive. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the industry itself, I think there's a lot of camaraderie, but at the same time, there's a healthy competitiveness there as well. You'd like to win. Oh yeah, You'd absolutely. You'd like your game to be the most popular game absolutely. in the history of the universe. Yeah. What's the biggest accomplishment if you wanted to brag on yourself? I mean, I would say there's a lot of people in the team right now at Respawn that we've worked together for, you know, 15, 16 years. So that to me is a better accomplishment. It's, it's about that, you know, like-minded people getting together to do something that they love, that they can put their heart into. Like that, that to me, you know, the games are great too. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's, mm -hmm. it's great to know. Like when we talk to somebody on the street, what do you do? Oh, I make video games. Oh, I don't really play those. You know Call of Duty? Well, of course I know Call of Duty. Like, it's, just, it's a household <laughs> name. Like, how are you not excited about something like that? We have a great team. Like you said, everyone's an expert kind of in their individual field. But it's more about that dynamic. It's about how does everything fit together in a bigger picture. Are and you the bigger picture guy? I am. You're, you're, yeah. you're the, kind of the, um, yeah. the kind of the boss that gets everybody going. So you're the person. So. You're the person in the writer's room. You're the executive producer. And there's writer's room that goes, yeah, yeah, that's funny. Come up with another thing. Yeah. <laughs> if things are going real well, my job's easy. Yeah. It's never easy, but right. <laughs> I right. imagine it would be if things are going perfectly. It's like flying a helicopter. Yeah. Nothing, nothing's easier until something's going wrong, <laughs> and then something's always going wrong. Yeah.